Recently, I was looking back at some of the early episodes of Don't Talk TV, and I was reminded of how crazy things were in the early days of COVID. Not that there wasn't plenty of insanity throughout the last three years, but this week on Don't Talk TV, I thought I would go and look at three of the craziest incidents that I covered on this channel. And again, remember that if we get to 10,000 subscribers, before the end of the year, I will regrow my handlebar mustache. We've got a ways to go yet, but if you'd like to see that, please uh, like, share, subscribe, and convince your friends to subscribe. Hello, my name is Nicholas Wansbutter. I'm a lawyer in Stratford, Ontario, Canada, and welcome to Don't Talk TV. So I'm filming this episode in the middle of October 2023. COVID-19 might seem like a distant memory to a lot of people. It might seem like it's completely over. I'm not entirely sure that we've seen the last of it and the last of uh, crazy things happening in our law. I'm not sure about full lockdowns like those utterly insane days in 2020 and 2021 where it was literally illegal to step outside your house except for certain reasons. But there are some indications that it's still around and the legacy media is saying some of the same things that they were saying before. Just by way of demonstration, doing a quick search in Google News for COVID-19 just to see what sort of articles is Google suggesting to people and promoting when it comes to COVID-19. So again, the first story right here, COVID deaths are on the rise again, so what happens? Although they're saying mask wearing in hospitals is being scrapped, apparently United Kingdom. Uh, you know, should you get the, a COVID-19 booster? Well, we know what the seven things to consider. They're all going to be in favor of getting a booster. Talking about two more COVID-19 deaths recorded in New Brunswick. Hospitalizations jumping 63% in a week. Saskatchewan marks 160 confirmed COVID-19 deaths since the start of 2023, etc. There is certainly some rumblings uh, in legacy media of them trying to stir things up. So it'd be interesting to see what happens. And I think it is worthy in light of that to look at these episodes that I myself had a look at and remember some of the insanity that was going on and some of the things that in fact led to the creation of this channel. So first and foremost, it comes to mind is the uh, violent arrest of Ocean Weisblatt in Calgary, Alberta. This I actually covered in episode two of Don't Talk TV, and for viewers who haven't seen that episode, I recommend that you watch it, but the Too Long Don't Read or Too Long Don't Watch version is that Ocean Weisblatt is a young hockey player. I, he played at a relatively high level, maybe had some hopes for some professional hockey, so he was out playing hockey outdoors in the winter of 2020 going into 2021. That, that was his crime of partaking of a Canadian pastime outdoors, and he was arrested for that, which was certainly something I never thought I would see in my lifetime, but there it was. Closely related to that, and fairly shortly after that, I covered in episode 12 of Don't Talk TV, the arrest of a man, I, I never did find out his name, uh, a man was arrested and beaten by employees of Canadian Tire for the crime of not wearing a mask in Canadian Tire, which is still just astonishing to me. I mean, they don't beat up shoplifters like that, but if you're not wearing a mask, they are prepared to do that. And uh, I don't know about viewers, but I have not shopped at Canadian Tire since that, and I don't intend to ever shop there if that's the way that that corporation runs its business. I certainly never heard about there being any consequences for those employees. Number three was hard to pick. I mean, there's so many things that, that I could have mentioned. The draconian nature of the stay-at-home order, Doug Ford in Ontario authorizing police to do random stops to check on why people were out, although police declined to accept that power. People being fired for not taking the COVID-19 injections. But I thought I would go back to the arrest of Maxime Bernier. Uh, this is just so incredible that a, not a federal politician was arrested for the crime of doing what politicians do, doing his job, speaking to people at a honestly a very small rally there maybe a dozen people went out to listen to him speak again outdoors in rural manitoba and again this was in the context 
and at a time when other politicians were attending much larger rallies. You had things like the Black Lives Matter rallies you saw where Justin Trudeau took a knee. Uh, things, the All Lives Matter uh, protests and riots and tearing down of statues was going on at the same time. No one arrested from that. But Mr. Bernier was arrested, and I made the argument, and I still believe that this is the case, that he is arrested for political reasons. So it's worth refreshing our memory on these things and keeping an eye out that this could happen again if we're not vigilant. The only reason it happened in the first place is because Canadians were willing to accept these things, and we have to not be willing to accept them. And just as a bonus, I, I would remind viewers about episode one of Don't Talk TV, where I explained that people have no obligation to open the door to police. And please watch that and remember that because I see it so often and so many bad things happen to people when they get pressured by police and feel like they have some sort of obligation to answer the door. You don't have the duty to answer your door. They have the right to knock, but that doesn't mean you need to answer the door. So I hope that people remember that. If Don't Talk TV accomplishes one thing, I would love if it accomplished having people realize that they don't have to open the door if they don't want to. Uh, this video, of course, is not legal advice. If you need legal advice, contact a lawyer. You can call another lawyer or myself. My contact information is below. Please keep the suggestions coming. You can leave those in the comments box or send an email to the email address listed below. We'll do our best to get to them. I'm still working on some suggestions from months ago. We will try to get to them. And again, help us get to 10,000 subscribers. So if you liked this, video found it helpful or informative interesting please consider liking sharing subscribing and following us